as you guys can understand from this thing that we had with Ambassador Sahala, mindset is really important. Not only in creating the Africa we want, but also in the daily lives that we live. The mindset that we have about money, the mindset that we have about work, about family, about identity is really important when we want to shape the experience that we want to have in this world. Mindset is not only about creating the Africa we want and doing all those works, but also as a human being, the experience that we want to have is extremely um, involved or extremely impacted by the mindset that we hold. On this week's spotlight segment, we will spotlight Radith Ababa's achievement and her journey because we want to make sure that it is possible to achieve um, achieve anything that we want to have in life. Because usually when we, when we uh, plan our life, when we go on and choose a course to learn, we think about the money that we're going to get by learning that course. It'd be like, okay, if I learn this, I'm probably gonna graduate and get this job, earn this amount of money. But life is way more than that. I understand money is really crucial to live, but at the same time, you can create that space for yourself that you can work something that you love and still contribute for the society that you came from. And she is a perfect example for that. So I don't wanna spoil any more stories of her life. Let's watch the narration and we will be back. I'm doubly honored to finally be able to repay the favor and host one of the most extraordinary students I know and now one of the most extraordinary colleagues I have. Please welcome Rediet. Born and raised in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, Rediet Ababa's childhood was marked by a strong interest in learning and a supportive environment that encouraged her intellectual curiosity. She showed an early aptitude for academics. Her experience growing up in Ethiopia shaped her perspective and inspired her later work in computer science and social impact. Her passion for learning and problem solving was evident from a young age, and she pursued her education with determination. During her high school years, Radi Tapeba demonstrated exceptional academic abilities and a strong interest in science and mathematics. Her performance in this subject helped her gain admission to Addis Ababa University, where she pursued an undergraduate degree in computer science. She was also involved in various academic activities and competitions, which further fueled her passion for technology and problem solving. This formative experience was instrumental in nurturing her skills and interests leading to her eventual success in the field of computer science and her focus on using technology to address social issues. I was really interested in mathematics, so I, uh, that was what I was exploring, and I ended up at Harvard College where I majored in mathematics. Following her undergraduate studies, Radit continued her education abroad. She completed a master's degree in computer science at the University of Oxford where she further explored her interest in algorithms and their applications. Her academic journey then led her to the University of Washington for her PhD in computer science and engineering. During her doctoral studies, she focused on algorithmic fairness, computational social science, and the use of technology to address social challenges. We also have these working groups that are focused on specific domains. So we have working groups on um, uh, global perspectives on inequality, we have a working group on bias and discrimination, on housing. Her research aimed at leveraging computational techniques to improve the well-being of the marginalized communities and address inequalities. Here are some activities of her post-education experience. Academic career. She joined the faculty at the University of California, Berkeley, as an assistant professor in the Department of Computer Science and the Department of Electrical Engineering and Computer Science. Her research mainly focuses on exploring algorithmic fairness, computational social science, and how technology can be used to improve social outcomes, research, and publications. Radit has successfully published in her fields of expertise, contributing to both theoretical advancement and practical applications, initiatives, and impact. Beyond her academic role, Reddit has been actively involved in various initiatives that aim to enhance diversity and inclusion in STEM fields. You know, it's been three years or something and now we're at close to 4,000 people. What's happened is that people have used this critical mass that we have to identify patterns of exclusion that we're experiencing. So for instance, in Black and AI, I run the academic program and what we've identified there is that there are a lot of people who want to pursue graduate school, and they can't because they can't afford to take the GRE. She is known for her efforts to support underrepresented groups in technology and to foster a more equitable technological landscape. 
professional organization in collaboration. Reddit collaborates with various organizations and research groups that tries to intersect technology and social impact. Her work often involves interdisciplinary approaches, combining insights from computer science, economics, and social science, which makes her research effective. As of now, Reddit Habib is an associate professor at Harvard University in the Department of Computer Science and the School of Engineering and Applied Science. She continues her research in areas such as algorithmic fairness, computational social science, and the application of computational method to social issues. Beside all the milestones that she has achieved, Reddit is also a co-founder of a research initiative called Algorithmic Justice League that tries to create awareness about algorithmic bias and advocate for more equitable and ethical use of technology. I think about ways in which discrimination plays out in these domains, uh, ways in which we're not maybe doing a very good job. She also mentors young students and early researchers. While doing all this work, she also speaks at conferences, workshops, and public events sharing her expertise on topics related to algorithm social impact and diversity in technology. In conclusion, we can understand that she was able to build her own character during her childhood by having a supportive environment and knowing her own interests. She has become an idol that for any dream we can dream, we can achieve as long as we put in the work and effort. We can learn from her that focus is one of the characters that we have to build in order for us to live a purposeful life. Thank you for watching. And I encourage you to both check out Black and AI, a mechanism designed for social good, and catch me sometime during today if you would like to chat. Thank you. Oh, cool. All right, let's thank Reddit again. From Reddit Ababa's life, from Reddit Ababa's life, we were able to understand that focus is really, really important in creating the life that we want. Understand knowing what you want in life, understanding your purpose, aligning the two is really crucial. But at the same time, you need to have that focus so that you won't get distracted by the things that you, you experience or you engage through your journey. So focus is really important. And she is a perfect example that shows that if you have the focus and the determination and the dedication for the things that you want to have in life, then there's nothing that you can never do in this world.